someone is realizing that all they have to offer is their body, their sexual energy, their looks, they're realizing that they don't truly have any real substance to themselves, that any interactions that they've had with men have been based off of sexual energy, off of how they presented themselves to a man, you know, wanting to be the sexy, alluring, Marilyn Monroe-ish type of vibe, but that ain't got this person nowhere, okay? And they're realizing that they are alone. No one isn't taking them seriously because all they give off is sexual energy, okay? So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this message, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the insight and guidance that you would like for us to receive? This person I'm picking up on was a karmic to somebody's twin flame. And this person just got dropped by this twin flame because of this same thing that I just mentioned. They got all they could get out of her sexually, and she wasn't presenting herself in any other way that could encourage someone to have a union with her. They just look at her as a sex partner. She may have a sexual addiction. She may have some sort of quirk within her that makes her think that if she uses her body and her looks and dresses suggestively and is always trying to present herself as a picture of beauty that this will make men want her. And it has, but not in the way that she wants them to want her. They want her sexually, but they don't want her in a divine committed way, okay? And that's what I'm getting. Like whoever she was just dealing with, he's the twin flame of somebody else. And now that he's moved on, possibly to go towards his twin flame, this karmic is realizing that she didn't have anything to offer, that she wasn't a divine feminine, that she was, I ain't going to say what I just heard. I want to say it, Holy Spirit, but I just heard some horror Babylon type energy that she realizes that she ain't nothing but that, okay? I ain't trying to talk about nobody, Holy Spirit. You, you know what I'm talking about. So what else? Will of Fortune. She's had a change of heart. She is at a crossroads in her life where she's realizing that her behavior ain't getting her nowhere. Being a sex object, a sex symbol, hasn't gotten her anywhere. What else, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Eight of Wands. This woman moves quickly with men. Okay, she hops into connections with men, taking a lot of swift action with them, sleeping with them almost immediately, falling for them, not realizing that this infatuation she feels, this lust she feels is not romantic love, okay? And she ends up being at the Ten of Wands very quickly with these people that she starts out with. She moves real fast with men only to end up in some sort of despair under some sort of burden or stress because of how they end up treating her. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Chariot, because they get the fuck on. They move on. They get what they want out of her ass and they move on just as quickly as they came in. And I'm not saying that all of these men see her as just a sex object, object, but what I am picking up is that she don't allow them to get to know her in, in other ways before she's ready to hop in the bed with them. And you can't do that because that's what she done did with somebody to inflame. That's who then left her. And he's on his way to get justice with his divine counterpart now. And we ain't got to really talk about them, but we can see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Because that's what's got her having that look. That's what's got her 
in this dark night of the soul energy, okay? She's realizing that she need to work on herself. She need to do some soul searching. She needs to do some truth seeking about who she is and how she operates with men. Because what she doing right now ain't working. That shit leaving her in a ten of swords every time. Because whoever this is that I'm picking up on, that's somebody twin flame. He done ended this connection with this karmic energy. And he on his way to connect with his past life soulmate now. Okay? And that's really what's got her pressed. That's really what has her truly re-examining her actions in life and why she's at the point that she's at now. Because she could, she for a minute there was not understanding why these men were giving up on her. Okay? She's beautiful. She's attractive. She has a nice body. She give up the pussy. Why are they not staying with me? Because ain't nobody told her that that's not how that worked. That's how it worked for people who sell sex, but that's not how it works for women who want love and a true divine commitment, an honest commitment, most of all. So if that's how you coming, this is what you gonna get every time. Nobody ain't tell this feminine that. And she's having to learn that as a grown up, this woman is older, at least late 30s, mid 40s, coming to this conclusion that she has been out here slutting herself to no avail, hoping that her passion for a man would matriculate into a partnership. And it has not. Confirmation, one second. That was confirmation, okay? That was confirmation, huh? So she's definitely experiencing some sort of self-introspection at this time about how she ended up where she at. And she realizing she can't get mad at nobody but herself because she chose to present herself this way to potential partners who could have committed to her and given her this Ace of Cups that she desires, okay? But if all you giving somebody is sex, you can't expect them to give you a proper commitment because you're not showing them anything else but sex. You're not giving this person an opportunity to get to know you, to learn about you, to figure out what you like and what you don't like to spend time with you, to court you, okay? There is nothing wrong, One eleven with going out on dates, getting to know people, spending time with them, talking to them on the phone, texting with them, FaceTiming, whatever you do before you jump in the bed with them. And this is some confirmation. This is somebody who would literally meet a guy immediately fall into some sort of infatuation or lust about him. This could be a Pisces here. I don't know why I said that, but Pisces have that vibe. Pisces can fall head and head over heels in love with somebody and not realize that what they're feeling is infatuation. It ain't love. And this is that person's energy. And they have an ace of cups and an ace of wands that they can give to somebody. But it's how they present themselves and it's how they give it up so quick before they let anybody truly get to know them and understand who they are. Okay? So this King of Pentacles is this divine masculine. And she mad because he, I'm telling y'all, he didn't left her and he is going towards his Six of Cups to give them this Ace of Wands, King of Pentacles commitment and this ace of wands that's what he about to go do and she's upset about that because she was hoping and had faith that he would give that to her but he's not but this is was a wake-up call the world this was a wake-up call for this karmic energy to stop this toxic cycle 
We had two fives back to back, five of pentacles and five of swords. It's time to make some pivotal changes in her life. And she knows it because of how this man dropped her ass. I'm talking about he dropped her child. And she's still shocked because this is somebody who is used to people telling her how pretty she is, how good her body look, okay, how sexy she is. It's some, I'm telling you, this is a Pisces. It's something about sex here, too. This woman knows that sex sells. I don't feel like she was selling no sex, but she definitely used sex to get people to have a new perspective on her. But all the, the perspective that they gained about her was that she was easy, that she might even be a nympho. It's really given that, that she got some sort of codependency issue. That's what she's even realizing about herself, y'all. Hangman falling right up under the hermit. She's realizing that she needs to let go of that behavior. She needs to surrender this mindset that because she's beautiful or she's attractive, that she can have any man she wants. Or that she can make any man fall for her because that ain't what been happening now. They might fall for a time, but they ain't sticking in there. They ain't even trying to stick in there. It's really giving like hit it a few times, maybe for about a month good, and I quit it. That's what they be doing. And I feel like this King of Pentacles did the same thing. Fool, what I just said, hit it and quit it. They leave this Pisces energy in the dust. They, these men may even put their block up to her after they sleep with her. And she can't understand why they are treating her this way. Because I'm telling you, this is somebody who grew up hearing all their life that they were beautiful. This is somebody who felt like their looks could get them anything that they wanted. And again... She started to look back in her life and see that in actuality, what she was taught about who she is and how she looked and her sex appeal and her alluring ability, that shit is false. She is looking back at her life and she's seeing that this is not what works for me. This really hasn't gotten me anywhere. I don't see any real solid results as a of as a I don't really see any results from my behavior and I need to stop that's what she's telling herself she sees that she, if anything it's restricted her because word getting around word and got around about whoever this Pisces is okay and I don't care how many pictures they post I don't care how fly they look it's getting to the point where men are not fucking with her like that because they know what come with it. Five of wands. They know this woman is dealing with some sort of inner conflict. That the sex ain't even worth it. That they will be up under some sort of tension. Some sort of conflict. They will experience fucking with her. So what's, what I'm also picking up is... When these men reject this Pisces, she gets upset and she throws fits when they don't want to fuck her no more because the five of wands is falling right up under the ace of wands. So this is also why word is getting around like that that sex ain't even worth all the stress because she going to want you to wipe her up even though she out here putting it out to everybody and then when you don't wipe her up, she going to be trying to flip on you and cause drama for your life. Now, that's the word that has gotten around about this Pisces. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Four of Wands, when you don't want to celebrate with her and have a union with her, Moon could be Piscean energy because it's enough other Piscean energy out here for this Moon to qualify. But when you decide you don't want to have a union with her, you can celebrate with her, but if you don't want to partner with her or be her man, you know, the cat come out the bag. You get to really see what's up with her and how she can behave. And she's realizing all of this, y'all, about herself. Because I'm telling you, this King of Pentacles, 
he just recently went through this same experience with this woman. And he ended it because of that. Death was right behind the moon. Death falling right up under the world. Whoever this Pisces is, she made this man realize that he was truly doing an injustice to himself by being with her instead of going over to his divine opportunity and making things right with them, okay? That's what he didn't realize dealing with this Pisces. And I feel like if this is the final connection for her that is getting her in alignment, that's making her realize and understand that this behavior is not going to work for her anymore. It hadn't worked for her really at all. And it's time to have a new perspective and present herself in a new light to everybody to not flip out on men because they don't want to be your man after you didn't gave up the draws within the first night or two where you meeting them. I'm telling you, she don't waste no time now. She ain't waste no time giving it up to this King of Pentacles. Anything else here, Holy Spirit lovers, I'm telling you, it's something about being this sex goddess vibe, thinking that she can woo any man to be with her, want her, desire her, but she not keeping herself up on no pedestal. She laying on her back and opening up her legs to any man down there who desires her. And I'm telling you, word that got around. And this King of Pentacles, I was picking up that he just slept with her and left her, but this King of Pentacles may have even tried to pursue some sort of partnership with this Pisces. Clarify, Holy Spirit. And it backfired on him. That's why he really running King of Cups. That's why he really running over there to go be with his twin flame. Okay, because he tried to give this woman more respect than she was asking for. And something went left, honey, with this moon to the death. But I'm telling you, I, I pick up that she flips out. She gets upset when men don't want to continue on with her after they didn't got the draws, got in her draws. And she want to go to flipping out and get mad like, I'm pretty. I'm sexy. I'm beautiful. You should want me. You should want to be in a partnership with me. Why don't you want to be with me? That's her That's her vibe. That was her vibe now. But she's realizing why these lovers of all kinds ain't sticking with her. She getting it. And this King of Pentacles connection was the trigger that has helped this woman finally learn her karmic lesson. That's why I tell people, we are put in, people are put into our lives and we are put into other people's lives to teach them lessons a lot of times, to help them learn what they need to learn, understand what it is that they need to understand so they can move forward in the right way, the, right, the way that they're being divinely guided to move, okay? And this King of Pentacles, King of Cups connection with this Pisces, Pisces has shown her that she needs to move in a different direction. His attempt to partner with her, however he chose to do that, has taught her that sex don't sell like she think it do. It don't. It don't now because if sex truly sold in the way that she thought it did, she would have been married. She'd have been wiped up 12-12. She wouldn't have been going from man to man, dingling to dingling, trying to find a partner. Because that's what she was doing prior to meeting this King of Pentacles, 12-21. And he's been the trigger for her to start doing some soul searching and figure out how she can change her perspective about beauty, about looks, about sex. And truly understand what a romantic love partnership entails. Because it ain't just sex, okay? Because I'm telling you, this man going towards his empress. The empress card was just sitting right here on the bottom. 
Whatever he learned dealing with this high priestess then woke his ass up too now. Because he was unable to decide about his twin flame. But whatever he went through with this Piscean feminine here, let him know that he better go on over there and get with his real woman, his true divine counterpart. And this man is making plans, plans, progress, making decisions, foresight, travel plans. He may have to travel to get to this empress and not right up the street or 15 minutes down the road. These, there's some distance between him and his divine feminine, but this man is making preparations to go towards her when at one point he was on the fence. But I'm telling you, this Pisces was his wake-up call as well. And he, he in gear. Look, he getting ready to set sail now. So that connection between those two people are over. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Ten of Cups. And the universe is encouraging this Pisces energy to focus on her own happiness. 1414, 14, focus on what is truly going to fulfill her inner happiness. Work on having harmonious, blissful relationships with men that don't include sex. Like she's going, King of Swords, she's going to have to really try to reacclimate herself. So that she can meet a man who won't cut her off after he gets some trim and leave her in regret. Because I look, that's what they be doing now. I'm telling you. She may even consider speaking to a professional, a therapist, collaborating with some sort of wise counsel to figure out why she behaves the way that she does and a new plan of action for her life so that she can receive a solid offer in the future. Okay? And I'm dropping the mic, y'all. I'm dropping it. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. Okay? But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates Leave the rest and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.